Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Last Minute Laura. I'm Laura and today I am going to get started on a new crochet tutorial. This one is for a really easy pair of fingerless gloves. So I've made one just so I can show you before we get started. It's got this really cute ribbed detail around the wrist and then it's a really simple half double crochet stitch for the rest of the hand. Okay, so for this project, you're gonna need a couple of things. First, you're gonna need a five millimeter crochet hook. I'm just using my aluminum one today. You're also gonna need some yarn. I'm using this, I believe it's Patton's Norse. It's a wool synthetic blend, I believe. And this color is coral granite, I think. I will, I'll link it down below. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right with most of those details. Um, you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to weave in your ends and um, to stitch it together in the end if you choose to sew it. So, let's get started. First, we're going to start with a chain 27. Then double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and double crochet across. At the end of that row, chain two and turn. So I started with a slip knot there. And now I am going to chain 27. 1, 2, 3, 25, 26, 27. Then I'm going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So 1, 2, 3, there's the fourth. And double crochet across. Okay, so now we're on row number two. For the first stitch, I'm going to do a front post double crochet. And then for the second stitch, I'm going to do a back post double crochet. If you don't know how to do a front post or a back post double crochet, I'm going to link a video down in the description below that's just a basic tutorial for how to do it. But this first row is just going to be an alternate between front post double crochet and back post double crochet all the way across. All right, so now we're on row number three. We're going to do the reverse of the last row. So what that means is instead of starting with a front post double crochet, this time we're going to start with a back post double crochet. We're going to do the same pattern but starting with a back post. So the next stitch will be a front post double crochet and then the next one will be a back post double crochet. And by making it the reverse of that first front post back post um, pattern, it makes this sort of ribbed stitch look and it adds a nice little bit of interest to an otherwise fairly simple pair of fingerless gloves. So now for rows number four, five, and six, we're just gonna keep doing that. So row number four is going to be a repeat of row number two, and row number five is going to be a repeat of row number three, and then row number six will be a repeat of row number two again. So we're just gonna be doing front post double crochet, back post double crochet, or back post double crochet, front crochet, post double crochet up until row number six and that will be when we switch into another stitch and keep working up the fingerless gloves. So I will just zoom through a little bit of front post back post double cro crochet and then we will meet back up here when it is time to switch to a different stitch. Okay, so we made it to row number six. Now we're on row number seven, and this is where things get super easy. We're just going to do 10 rows of half double crochet. So from row seven all the way up to row 17, we're just going to half double crochet in each stitch across. It really is that easy. 10 more rows of half double crochet. So I'll see you back here when you get that part done, and then I'll show you how we're gonna put it together. Hello, friends. While I finish these rows, I thought I would pop in here to say, don't forget to hit the like button down here. It's a really great way to help the channel out and it's a free way to show your support for Last Minute Laura and everything we're trying to do here. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. I put out new videos every single day. Monday to Friday, I live stream from 7 a.m. until about 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. And Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, I put out edited videos like this. So, if that sounds like it's up your alley, I definitely recommend that you subscribe. And now, back to the show. Hi, Cleo. 
Okay, so now it's time for final assembly. We're gonna fold the mitt over and you can either weave your end in over here and then reattach at the cuff or you can keep the yarn from the ball of yarn and use that to assemble the actual mitt. So I'm going to just insert the hook into the side that doesn't have the yarn on it and then I'm gonna yarn over with that tail and pull it through. And now our pieces are ready to be crocheted. And what I'm gonna do is just slip stitch into the first three stitches. One, two, three. And then I'm going to slip stitch just on one side. So not through both pieces anymore, just through one piece. I'm gonna slip stitch into the next seven. One, two, six, seven. And that should bring you back to the ribbed end of the um, fingerless gloves. So now what we're gonna do is take the hook out and then stick your hook in at the other side at the top of the ribbing. And then grab the loop and pull it through. And now you're back to having your loop ready to crochet. So now we're gonna slip stitch the next six rows where the um, rib stitches are until we are down at that cuffed edge. And at that point, just do one extra chain stitch and then secure it off and weave in your ends. And once you've woven your ends in, it's all finished. So I'm just gonna take my yarn needle and weave in those ends. Then you just turn it inside out and your fingerless gloves are done. Ta-da! Now I've got a nice pair to keep me warm in the fall and winter months. What do you think? Aren't they cute? I love these things. They're so convenient. They're so quick to make and honestly these make a great gift. Everybody that I've made these for has loved receiving them and really uses them. Alex calls them his photographer gloves. He has a pair of these as well and these are gonna be mine for this winter. I love this yarn. It's really soft, very pretty. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you're going to be making these fingerless gloves. Super easy, like I said, a great holiday gift if you're looking for something easy that's handmade. And really you only need to know two stitches double crochet, front post, back post, double crochet, sorry, and half double crochet. So three stitches, easy peasy. Anyways, friends, that is all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for liking the video. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.